Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh. So for today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I think is really important. When it comes to dating in high school, there are so many questions that I get on Snapchat and Twitter and anywhere that you guys can send me DMs and majority of it is girls. I gotta say that because the majority of guys don't watch this, but majority of me going through high school, I was in a relationship, but a lot of my friends we're not in relationships. So there was always things that I was dealing with and always things that I was talking to them about and trying to figure out. And I think that because I've gone through that, there are certain opinions that I have that might be able to help you out. So these are obviously just my opinions, but if throughout the video you find something to be helpful or you have any other questions that you want me to answer, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Here are a couple things that I think are really important to remember and to look for when you're dating in high school. So the first thing that I kind of want to talk about is just guys in high school are not fully matured and it takes them a lot longer to mature than you girls. If a guy is teasing you or if a guy does something really stupid, if a guy just doesn't understand something, just one of those things that you understand but he doesn't really fully get yet. One way that you can really tell that is when a guy says that he wants to go out with you and then a couple weeks later he's talking to a bunch of other girls and he's not making it feel like you're the most important person. That just shows that maybe that person isn't really fully mature yet and that's the reason that they can't understand the things that you're going through or the things that you're doing and it's not to say that one day they're not gonna understand that but right now that's one thing that I think is really important to remember if you are wanting to date in high school just be really careful and remember that they might not be fully mature yet so this is kind of personal but like going through high school I wasn't the most confident I had a lot of insecurities I remember waking up one morning and looking in the mirror and seeing my face full of acne and basically crying and just wanting to go back to sleep because I didn't want anybody to see me. And because I get to help you guys out and give you my honest opinion on things, eight weeks ago, I started talking to Neutrogena and they sent me one of their light therapy acne masks. Neutrogena did sponsor this video and they sent me one of their masks to try out and tell you guys about. So basically, this is what it looks like. It looks like a superhero mask. And when I was in high school, I never did any light therapy stuff because it was way too expensive for me to do. And I would always go to dermatologists and they would give me creams and all that kind of stuff and it never worked and because I don't talk to you guys about products that I don't like I thought that this would be a perfect opportunity just to like help some of you guys out there that might have acne it comes with this little activator thing and it's like a headphone jack you just plug it in and then each of these activators has 30 treatments on it and then after that you just go and get one of these activators again and it'll work so when you turn it on this is what it looks like it's like completely pink there's red and blue lights so the red light helps inflammation and the blue light clears all the bacteria out of your face this is really good because this isn't expensive at all and I get to just use this all the time whenever I want I don't have to go somewhere to get it done and because I like it so much as well I'm gonna give away five of these make sure that you guys check the link in the description I'm gonna put all of the details down there so that you can see it also I'll put the link there so if you want to buy it you can check that out as well this is honestly one of the products that I'm gonna tell you guys about because I really like it and I use it so if you do try it let me know how you like it and I hope that it helps you in high school guys are really unpredictable when it comes to dating and dealing with girls because they might like one girl and might like another girl and then they might tell you that they wanna go out with you but they really like somebody else and sometimes it can be really confusing because they don't actually know where they're at in their own head. So if you think that a guy is maybe not at that stage yet where you should be dating him but like you have a really big crush on him, just wait a little bit until you kind of feel like it's 100% gonna be a good thing and then maybe start going out with him. So another really big piece of advice that I can give you guys is when you're in high school, put yourself first. I know that that sounds kind of selfish. In high school, you're trying to figure yourself out. You're trying to figure out what you want to do after. You're trying to figure out who you want to hang out with. And if you start putting yourself second and putting somebody else first, what's going to happen is you're going to start following along in their tracks and becoming more of what that person wants you to be. And then you're not going to really follow what you enjoy doing or who you see yourself as being. Being. If it's small decisions where like you need to help somebody do something and then you're putting yourself first Then it can get kind of selfish or whatever But when you're in high school and you're thinking about dating You need to put yourself first and just make sure that you're putting your happiness first and not trying to just make somebody else happy So one more thing that I want to tell you guys is when you start going out with somebody Sometimes you have that feeling or that urge to like keep it a secret or not tell anybody when you start going out with somebody Tell everybody or tell your parents or tell somebody sometimes you get caught up in situations where like you feel like you just love this person because of certain things that they do 
and then somebody might come up to you and tell you, hey, like this person is really disrespectful or doesn't treat you the right way, but because you're in it, you don't really realize it because you only think about like the good things that they do for you. And you start to think that like it makes it okay. When really like if your parents are giving you opinions, it really makes it a lot easier just to figure out how your relationship looks from an outsider's perspective. And I think that that's really important. If you are going out with somebody and you don't want to tell anybody, <laughs> I would suggest that you do tell somebody or tell everybody because I think in the long run, it will definitely be able to help you out. My parents' opinions going through high school, like I really respected them and looked up to them. And when they would tell me something, I would really take into consideration what they were saying. I think it should be the same for you guys if you have somebody that you're telling just so that they can help you out in situations like that. The last thing that I want to tell you guys and something that you need to always remember is that when you're in high school and you're either dating somebody or you're about to date somebody, you need to realize that this is not the only shot or only chance you have at being in love. When you see other people like your friends or people that you don't even like and they're in relationships, you start to freak out and be stressed out and worry about all these different things when you need to realize that like in high school, that's not your only chance of finding somebody to be in love with. Now that's not to say that the person that you meet in high school might not be the person that you marry or be in love with for the rest of your life, but you're gonna realize that there's a lot of opportunity and a lot of different people that you're gonna meet that were not like any of the other people that you met at your high school. Some of you might be freaking out that you're not in a relationship right now. And to be honest, I would tell you guys just to wait until you're out of high school and just become friends with as many people as you can. And then when you do get out there and you're working somewhere or you're traveling somewhere, like you're gonna meet so many different types of people. But yeah, that's just another piece of advice I would give you guys. Like I said, these are just my opinions, but I think that because I've been through a lot and I've seen how other people have gone through things, I feel like I'm able to give you guys Guys somewhat of a good opinion so any of you guys that are in school right now just keep going everything will be okay if you're stressing out about certain things realize like the big picture and just realize that you're still in high school and if you're not in a relationship that's fine you don't need to be in one and yeah just don't worry too much like just have a good time in high school make a lot of friends do the fun things that you're gonna wish you did when you're out of high school and I think that you'll be totally fine. So I definitely feel like I talked a lot in this video. I'm sorry if you guys feel like you've been listening for like five hours, but I just wanted to tell you guys everything that I thought about this and that's what I did. So I'm happy about that. Give this video a thumbs up if you found anything to be helpful. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Check out the Neutrogena mask if you are struggling with acne and you're trying to figure out something that will work because I think it will help you. I love you guys so much. And as always, I will see you guys on Saturday for another video. Bye! <laughs>